Hey everybody. Yesterday, on my way home from after I picked up my son, he said, Mom, I only got nine out of 10 on my last English uh, writing thing. He's taking a technical writing class in college. And I said, how come? And he said that this, he, he had done this assignment as if he was in the class that he had taken last quarter, which meant that he wasn't as precise with his punctuation as this class requires because it's technical writing versus just plain old English 101. And the reason I'm on, I'm hopping on here is because I'm about to shoot a whole series. So far, it's a five video series that I'm going to release first to the gals in the Patreon group and the links below. Um, but it, I think teaching your kids writing skills is so important, but so much of it is broken record stuff, stuff that you say over and over again, or things that you do repeatedly throughout the course of your homeschool career. So briefly the things that uh, the encouragement that i gave my son was that okay this is part of those three no-nos of writing what are they you know the purpose of the writing you know your audience and you know your specialized vocabulary you need all three of those to work together in harmony in order for you to write um, well and so the piece that he was missing was knowing his audience because, and we talked about this at length, if I am your audience, then you don't need to be as precise with things like punctuation because I haven't taken a punctuation class in, I don't know, 30 years, 35 years. So I write in a way that makes sense to me. And that means that I'm not following perfect punctuation rules. However, in this case, his instructor is his audience and it's technical writing, which means that he needs to be precise in his punctuation. So anyway, the things that are going to be coming in the video are knowing the purpose of writing, understanding what that is. And we're going to talk about that and how we use things like funny writing prompts, funny picture writing prompts to help kids understand that not all writing is boring, right? Every, there's so many different styles of writing. Some writing can be just for the sheer joy of it. And so we're gonna talk about um, knowing the purpose of writing in the first video. In the second video, we're gonna talk about that professor. We're gonna talk about knowing your audience. And more importantly, how do you know if you're nailing it? Right? How do you how do you know that what you're communicating is meshing with who it is that you're writing for? So we're gonna talk about that and also the similarities of writing and making pizza, because you know me, pizza's love. So if I can put in a little pizza jab every now and again, I love to do that. Um the next thing, the next video is going to be understanding what specialized vocabulary means and that you don't just know this stuff off the top of your head. You actually need to spend some time doing research. Um, so we're gonna be, I was looking at the wrong piece of paper, so I'm like, wait, where's my note about what that means? So we're gonna talk about um, understanding how you develop that specialized vocabulary, things like a dirty draft, and what the heck a hippopotamus has to do with anything. And then, let's see, the next thing is that I have a collection of writing ideas that um, are way more than just an essay or a research paper. And so I have a collection of different kinds of writing ideas that help break the mold for kids because so many of our homeschool kids or students see a blank piece of paper and they freeze. And that's because number one, they don't know the three no-nos of writing. Number two, they've never, um, they've never entered into a relationship with a piece of paper where they're like, wow, this is really fun. Um, and so the, the creative prompts or ideas are to help break the mold so that kids can start to realize that writing isn't bad. It's actually just a beautiful way to communicate an idea to a particular person or audience and using words that helps it make sense. And it can be anything from writing instructions to settlers of Catan, because that's what we had to do when we first got that game. <laughs> 
We had like World War Four break out in the sailor home when we got settlers of Catan. And so we had to write the rules in English so that we would all be on the same page when we played the game. <laughs> so it was a homeschool lesson in writing and the kids loved it. It took us probably a week as a group project to understand the rules and to rewrite them in sailor language. So we knew the purpose of that writing was that we would be able to enjoy the game in the future. We knew the audience was our family and we knew that the specialized language had to do with the parts and the pieces of that game. Does that make sense? So lots of writing um, ideas in that, that video that's coming. And then I think the last video, I, I think it's gonna be a five video series. Um, the last video is going to address our older students who are merging into college classes and we'll talk about um, MLA formatting and how to format a page for a college professor um, because it doesn't matter how great your writing is if you don't put your name in the right place and the page number in the right place and have the right amount of space you lose points and those are freebie points and we don't leave freebie points on the table right <laughs> so anyway I wanted to let you know that that is what I'm doing if you're on patreon already you're gonna get early access to all these videos once I have them set, I will release them um, and share the links inside of Patreon. Um, know that they will come to everybody, but right now my YouTube videos are booked out through mid-February, I think, or the third week in February. So these won't release until the end of February or early March, depending on how long they take me to shoot and then upload and get all the goodies out on um, YouTube. So anyway. That's what we're doing. Uh, Patreon is kind of this new space. It's a blend of everything that I've been able to do so far with you in homeschooling. Um, it's a, it's like a sweet spot. You know, have you ever, have you ever like learned a skill and then years later come back to it and go, oh, that's why I learned how to do this. Well, that's what Patreon is for me because it's a coming together of all of the resources that I've created over the past 25 years, and I have over 400 resources um, so far that um, I'm sharing as I share the ideas behind them. Um, but it also gives me the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one conversation and to do fun little things that are just kind of over the top, that are just fun. So anyway, come check us out. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, please take the time to do that. And YouTube changed. So in the old days when you subscribed, you would actually get um, a notification when new videos come out. Um, but I guess their algorithm changed a little bit. So when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. And that way, when these videos come out, you will have access to them. Now my goal on the, the YouTube videos is to keep the videos short. They're, they're between 10 and 15 minutes. Some of them are less. Um, and we'll stick to one topic and then we'll move on. So anyway, come join me. How to teach a child writing skills. This is a new series that's coming at you. And if you're on Patreon, give me one of these because they are coming at you um, sooner than to the rest of the, the universe. So love you guys. Have a great day and can't wait to dive into teaching your child writing skills.